when someone says, I can't, it usually means one of two things. Either I'm not able or I won't. So for example, when dad says to his daughter, I can't understand why you want to spend time with that boy. He's essentially saying, I'm not able to understand. But when dad says, I can't let you go to that party with college students, he's really saying, I won't let you go to that party. So when I tell you that I can't dance, if by dancing I mean to cut a rug or to do a little jig, then I'm not able is definitely the appropriate understanding. In fact, the more that a dance requires creativity on my part, the less able that I am to do it. Now, if everyone's doing the exact, exactly the same thing, like the Cotton Eye Joe, or, or if the DJ is hollering out directions, then I can manage. But if you expect a little rhythm, you're looking in the wrong direction. Comic relief, maybe, but rhythm, not a chance. But by dancing, I don't just mean my regular dose of humility underneath the colored lights on the floor. I also think of dancing in that metaphorical sense of being willing to go along with or following another's lead. Oftentimes today, the culture proposes a teaching or position that is contrary to God's plan for our lives and then asks women and men of goodwill to follow along with them, to follow their lead. But on more than one occasion, and with increasing frequency, misguided voices in opposition to our faith have forced me to say, I can't dance. I won't dance. I can't dance with a lobby that mistakes equality with interchangeability and thus concludes that two men or two women can marry. I can't dance with an administration that forces me, even indirectly, to pay for contraceptive coverage that hurts women and men, destroys marriages, and treats pregnancy like a disease. I can't dance with an individual or an agency that would rather see an undocumented child go hungry than spend a dime to feed someone without papers. Now, Catholic priests are not the only faces, but certainly among the most visible, who are called to be a sign that will be contradicted, as we hear in Luke chapter 2. It's always easier to dance along. But Jesus did not go with the flow when justice was denied or dignity ignored. And neither should those men who are called to share his priesthood. When I consider the boys and single men that God is calling to serve him as priests, boys and single men from Hugoton to Hanston, from Sharon to Syracuse, I know that the Diocese of Dodge City needs priests who can't dance. Now, I don't mean those who will admit I'm not able to do the electric slide or the Cupid shuffle. Fortunately, becoming a seminarian requires an application, not an audition. Rather, the Lord is calling men who are courageous enough to say, I won't dance with those who ignore or oppose the teachings of our Lord, revealed in our hearts and revealed in the Catholic faith. These are the men God is calling at this very moment to be priests, and we need them more than ever.